Hackerspaces. Well, um, I'm a co-founder of Noisebridge, which is an early of the new wave of hackerspaces in the in the world. Really, uh, we all need community. We all need to express ourselves through our creativity. And hackerspaces bring these two powerful inner needs and uh, desires um, uh, out in the open, where we can all explore that together. Like I come home after traveling for a month or two and I'm really amazed to see the cool things that are going on at Noisebridge because we've got like 5,600 square feet of total awesome chaos. Someone donated a wheelchair, an electric wheelchair with a joystick. It was broken, someone fixed it, someone else hooked a computer to it so you can use that instead of the joystick. Someone else hooked a thing where you can uh, control it with your phone. And someone then said, oh, what would it be like if you put a, a brainwave monitor on and you can control it around? So there's some pretty funny videos of someone sitting in the chair, terrified as someone else is controlling it with, or attempting to with the brainwaves. Yeah, so these guys are doing a DIY bio. They're part of a hackerspace challenge that I helped organize. And um, they came up with a bio board. So with very simple electronics, they could do all sorts of biology experiments that up till recently were very, very, very expensive and could only be done with guys in white lab coats. Uh, but that's, that's over, so with the help of um, people like this uh, at Noisebridge and people around the world uh, at other hackerspaces, uh, all this is open to people now. And that's the thing with hackerspaces, is people exploring what they love. Whether or not it makes money is really unimportant. If we explore what we love, we have a great chance of living fulfilling, wonderful lives, and that can spread to other people, and that's what hacking is all about.